Hello guys, um, this is your fellow Dash Hammer from Bad Travis to Greater LA. I just wanted to apologize in advance that um, I couldn't get this video done as um, quick as I want. Um, there's been a lot of stuff that's been going on um, in my personal life, mainly school and um, other family stuff. So, um, so I'm ready to answer your questions. Before I start, I just wanted to give you a preview of Compilation 14. This is uh, my my drive between Chinatown and downtown LA all the way down to South LA so let's get started no it's not a sensitive question indeed um, I am originally from LA my favorite car is actually the Tesla Model S um, I just think it's um, um, it's a really good looking vehicle and and I love the range that it gets for an electric car. Um, I'm hoping that someday I can um, I can afford it. Growing up in SoCal I've been exposed to the freeway so um, so um, every time I go on the freeway I would recognize every single model of car that would read the license plate of every car and stuff like that. So um, that's uh, mainly how I'm so good with cars. So the worst type of food I've ever tasted um, is actually any Chinese soup. Uh, it's just, I don't know, I, I have something against the flavor of um, Chinese soups. Um, one time I had um, a sweet and sour soup, I was like, oh my god, it was so disgusting, man. And wonton soup is, um, I just, I just think wonton soup tastes weird. Honestly, I don't know how long I'm gonna be dash camming, but um, but for now, I am, I'm probably gonna be dash camming um, for as long as I continue to drive in my lifetime. Uh, the dash cam community is actually one of the most interesting things I've ever come across on YouTube. Um, I never knew that there was um, there was actually people who would um, dash cam just to um, just to pinpoint bad drivers and uh, and people who do stupid stuff on on camera. So um, so I found a way um, to connect to other people like that and. And it's actually one of the most frustrating things I have to deal with in LA. It's um, bad driving. So this is one of the main reasons why I started this channel. I have lived in LA for um, most of my lifetime, but I can't give you an exact number. The furthest place I've ever traveled is um, Veracruz, Mexico, because um, I have family who lives in Veracruz, uh, mainly from my dad's side, so uh, that's one of the main reasons I, I have gone all the way down there. I want to go to many different places um, across the world, but, um, but if there's one place that I have to choose in particular, it will probably be Australia, just because um, I've heard a lot of good things about Australia. Um, it's a very beautiful country and I want to go visit um, I'm gonna go visit the Outback. I want to go visit the major cities. Um, just basically, um, be a tourist out there. My favorite TV series would be The Simpsons. Um, I, I've always liked their comedy. I watched it when I was um, when I was young, and um, and uh, I I didn't even understand the dialogue in the beginning until until I was like um, 11 or 12 years old then I, I was able to get a lot of the jokes and man it's a really really funny cartoon man. and as for the genres of music well I listen to any type of variety including um, Spanish variety music I have been driving for four and a half years and I've had my license for four years now. So I had a close call with um, 
um, with another vehicle. I was driving northbound on a major street, and um, and then this jackass decides to turn right in front of me while I'm still um, driving on a yellow light. And next thing you know, um, I had to slam on the brakes and hit the horn really hard, and um, it was just a very awful experience. And you know, I needed something. That, that could protect me in the event of an accident because um, because in LA hit and runs are, are are very very common so so in case um I do have somebody who who causes an accident and they don't hold themselves responsible then um, then I'll catch them on camera and then um, I'll be able to give that video to the police. As I was answering Patrick McManigle's question, um, well, I started dash camming because I wanted to protect myself um, in the event of an accident uh, because hidden runs are very, very common where I live. So uh, that's um, that's the main reason why I started dash camming. I have been in three different car accidents. Um, um, the very first accident they they ever had was um, was when I was um, riding with my cousin, and um, next thing you know, uh, there was a car who uh, who got T-boned at an intersection. He lost control, and then he and then he slams into the side of our car, and that was the first accident I've ever had. But um, I wasn't the driver at the time, and. Um, the other two accidents, um, well, the the second one I was a passenger, so my friend got distracted. Um, he didn't see the car that was stopped right in front of him, and um, he went forward and he slammed into the back of his bumper at 10 miles an hour. It felt pretty strong, but um, luckily, um, luckily nothing happened to either vehicle, so um, so we weren't held accountable for that crash. So. Um, we were pretty lucky that time. And the third accident that um, um, that I ever had, with, and that, this time I was the driver. So I was stopped at a red light at an intersection, and this guy, um, we're talking about an older guy who, who was driving a Toyota Highlander. He he seemed like he was um, completely out of his mind, like he was drunk or had no clue what just happened. He just slammed into the back of my bumper, and I got off the car and I told him, "Hey, you hit my car!" And then the guy just took off like nothing happened. He just put the thing on reverse, uh, and then just drove off like um, like nothing happened. But he didn't um, accelerate or anything. He just did it all calmly. And um, there there was little damage to the bumper, but um, but it was never reported to the insurance though. As far as tickets go, I've only gotten um, um, one parking citation, but no moving violations so of any sort. I like ordering the double quarter pounder with cheese. Um, it's actually one of my favorite things on the menu at McDonald's. Um, the other thing that I really like is um, the chicken wing nuggets. Pretty amazing stuff. Um, from the breakfast menu, I like ordering the sausage with muffin um, with the um, with the white egg. It's um, it tastes pretty amazing. Um, if you haven't tried it, honestly, I gotta tell you, when you try it with the egg whites, you're gonna you're really gonna love it. To me, I personally don't think Donald Trump will be a good president. I just um, I just don't think he has um, all the qualifications that um, that he requires to become president. I mean, I've never seen this guy run in politics before. I mean, he's just a, I mean, he's just a billionaire guru who thinks he he can change the country. But you know, um, um, without um, without declaring my political views, I just think Donald Trump is an asshole, especially the way he treats reporters. Um, I've heard about Jorge Ramos and. Um, and his comments about um, and the comments that he made about Mexicans the other day um, that was just um, 
that was just pretty biased and um and he's very unapologetic so this guy is i just think he's a complete asshole to be honest with you uh, so in my personal opinion i don't think trump would be a good president I like getting the sweet onion and chicken teriyaki on wheat bread with spinach, tomato, green pepper, olives, and of course the sweet onion sauce to, um, to complete it all. In and Out is one of the best um, burger joints in Southern California and I just really like their burgers. Um, it has good flavor. and. Um, it's, oh, it just tastes so fresh and juicy and um, I like the way the cheese tastes, I like the way the, the beef tastes, although I would like to see more beef on it and um, the, the special sauce that they have is really, 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 really good. So if you ever come here to the, um, to the west coast, you gotta try in and out As far as I know, there's locations in California, Nevada. Arizona, Utah, and Texas, so they can go to either of those states and we can still get in and out. Um, but um, the only downside I would say is um, the fries. The fries, um, they could be better, you know, they're, they're too small, they could be kind of soggy sometimes. They're a little bit on the bland side, but other than that, um, I think in and outs are um, pretty amazing. As far as I'm concerned, your profile picture didn't scare me at all. My all-time favorite dash camera, I would have to say, is um, Bad Drivers of Southern California. Um, yeah, his videos are always going viral, and he's um, one of the most popular on YouTube. And um, I really, um, I really like his um, style of driving. He is usually very, very calm. Um, doesn't really honk at people in, um, in situations where most people would honk and sometimes his, um, his sense of humor is pretty funny too so um, so I really like his channel a lot and that's actually um, one of my inspirations in starting this channel so the other one would be Bad Drivers from Napa Valley of course to me milk is milk I don't really care where um, um, where the animals located as long as um, as long as the cheese is good, it's good. The first car I've ever driven is a 2000 Toyota Corolla. That's um, that's the car that I learned how to drive in. Um, it was actually um, that was actually part of the driving school, so um, so that's basically the. The car that I, that I learned how to drive in. My dream car would actually be the Tesla Model S. I would say Hollywood and the West Side are the places in LA that has the the worst drivers. Um, not only because um, they have to sit around in traffic all the time, but but because people are so frustrated to get to where they need to go, they end up cutting off other people. Um, they end up getting lost all the time, so they would change lanes at the very last second, etc., etc. So, yeah, so those places are the worst. Just keeping it simple with pepperoni. Automatic all the way. That would have to be Spider-Man. So my dash cam is actually an iPhone 6 Plus that is um, always mounted into a regular old GPS car mount. So um, so that's how um, I record all my videos. Although eventually I do want to get a GoPro so I can so I can record in um, higher quality videos. Also, I just purchased a rear dash cam. It's a Spytek A118C. I'm gonna post a link on the bottom of my 
of the description so you can check it out um, I'm expecting to upload some of those videos in, in late October but at the end of this video I'll give you guys a preview of of what I've recorded so far on a rear dash cam. The answer is no. Same, eu vi atores em pessoa no passado, which is Portuguese for yes, I have seen actors in person in the past. Um, some of those celebrities include Selena Gomez, Jay Leno, um, I've seen Jim Carrey. Um, do a little gig for us in Santa Monica. It was pretty hilarious. Um, I've seen um, I've seen other celebrities. Um, there's just so many I, that I can to name. You know, I've seen Alex Trebek. I've seen Becky G. I've seen um, I've seen a lot of um, Hispanic celebrities. I've seen Prince Royce. Um, I've seen Romeo Santos. Just um. Just a lot of big names that I've seen. I've seen Cash. I've seen Pitbull. I mean, it's just so much that I can name. I can't. I can't go over the list right now. So I would have to put it in the description. This has to be the funniest question that I've ever had to answer. Um, my plate isn't BDGRLA. I mean, if I had that already on my car. People would have already gone after me. Um, as I was answering New Jersey dash camps um, question, um, I have been in um, in three accidents. Two of them, um, well, I was a passenger, and one of them, me being um, being the driver. So those are the only accidents I've ever been in. My favorite fast food restaurant would have to be Five Guys. Um, I like their burgers. I like to order the bacon cheeseburger. It's um, it's really delicious. Um, give you two patties and um, has bacon, obviously. You can choose um, whatever ingredients you like in it. When I order the um, when I order the bacon cheeseburger, I like to. Um, order it all the way which is um, basically grilled onions mushrooms stuff like that that's those are just uh, to say I don't know the exact ingredients because I don't have a list with me but um, yeah but that's what I really like ordering I like ordering the um, Cajun fries also um, it's very spicy but they're really delicious I've never been pulled over by a cop. I have encountered a couple of bad drivers, um, especially while um, driving on the freeway. I saw one that was um, that kept swerving in and out of lanes um, without even knowing it. It's just it was just horrible, man. I did call 911 in that case, and in the other case, well, just some guy. Um, driving like at 85 plus I'm not sure if he if he was drunk but this was like at, late at night so um, I was worried for the guy's safety so I did call 911 in that case as well all I can tell you is that um, I'm a Hispanic student um, who attends Cal State Long Beach Well, we already have the point system and the um, and the driver license suspensions for um, for certain violations, and also DUIs, where people get arrested if they commit a DUI, and um, and they have to sign this pledge where where if they cause a, um, another accident, you kill somebody, then you get charged with murder, and. Um, but one thing that I would like to see is um, restrictions for seniors because seniors tend to be a little bit slow when it comes to, to driving and sometimes um, they make a lot of stupid mistakes so I guess in that aspect um, I would like to see more enforcement down there. Now this is the clip of me driving down to Long Beach.
I would have to go with Pepsi over Dr. Pepper. As I was telling Samba Slayer earlier, um, I grew up in SoCal and of course I got exposed to the freeways. So, um, so my hobby was just to stare at the cars, look at the different names and models, um, read the license plate, stuff like that. So that's how I um, so that's how I got inspired to um, to learn all the car models. Um, I've never had any close calls that have resulted in a near fight, but um, I will tell you about this case that I had with this woman down in Long Beach. So um, so I had to change lanes, um, and um, and apparently the girl. The girl who was driving uh, the Hyundai Santa Fe didn't like it, and and she started honking at me. And I tried to um, try to get into the lane as much as I could, and I gave her enough space so she could go ahead and pass me. But that wasn't good enough for her, and so she kept slamming on the horn. And she gave me the finger, called me an asshole, blah 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 blah. And I I was about to lose it with that girl. I was about to you know um, start some start some stuff with her but um but it never escalated that far so that's the um only close encounter that i've had but um but not after a close call though so the main message about my videos are um are to educate the public about um about the dangers of bad driving and and I don't do this to shame people in any way, so um, I apologize for anybody who has taken it the wrong way in the past, but um, but that's not the main purpose of this channel. I hope I was able to answer all your questions and um, hopefully in the future I'll be hosting another Q&A. So um, thank you so much for everybody that participated. Um, now I just want to show you a preview of what's to come for Bad Drivers of Greater LA in the future.